Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the food web for your park. To do that, you need two things. The first thing you need open is your park project homework two. Um, you should have already done, looked at all of these other food webs for different parks around the Bay Area. Um, and now it's time for you to make your own and to talk about yours. Um, if you, you also will need the list of things that you found when you went to your park. Um, I have mine up here as a document, but if you have yours in your notebook, feel free to use that as well. Um, this is a, sorry, my brain just went bloop. Let me think for a second. Okay. Um, this is going to be due by our next science class on Tuesday. So you have all weekend to get it done. Um, and you can use data from when you went to the park or if you have an alternative park assignment um, for those who needed to stay inside, I have, um, you can use the data from that as well. So what you are going to be doing um, is you're going to, the first thing you need to do is you need to add all of your species to this food web. And I put in all these different gray boxes. You might need more, you might need less, depending on your park. Um, what you will do is you click on one and you type into that box. So I'm going to kind of combine a bunch of mine. So I'm going to kind of combine all my different trees as kind of the same and all my different bushes as kind of the same. This isn't the most scientifically accurate way of making a food web, but it will, um, but it's what we're going to do today. Hey, kitty cat, you want to come hang out? Um, because if you were a true biologist in college or as a profession, you would do a lot of species identification. And so you would know what made this bush different than this bush. But we're not going to spend time on that in sixth grade. Right now, I really just want you to get this idea of how ecosystems work as a big picture. So for us, we're going to treat all of our bushes as the same. So I'm going to type into this box, bush. Um, and then I'm going to add um, a picture of bush. So I'm going to go insert, insert image, search the web, and I'm going to write bush plant and see what comes up. Cool. I found a picture of a bush. I like this one because it has the white background. That's my preferred insert. And I get a really big picture of a bush. I got to make it smaller. And I put it here with my word. I'm going to do that. When I do that, I'm going to center my word because I just think it looks better that way. Um, once I get, get that, I'm going to mark off all my bushes just to, so I know that I did these already. So I'm going to highlight them yellow. You don't have to do this part. This is just a thing to help me remember which ones I've already done. And then I'm going to add um, some other things. Uh, so I'm going to add my tree. And then I'll add insert image, search the web, picture of a tree. If you know the different species names, feel free to add those, but if you don't, we can just keep it simple and um, normal and we will just do tree. Um, and then, well, and I will continue to do this for the bird, for my birds, for my dogs, for my flowers, and for my bugs, which were all the other things I saw. I might also choose, and I'll give you some freedom to choose, to add things that you might know live in your park because you've seen things like their homes or their footprints, or maybe you've seen them in the past, but you didn't see them this time going to the park. So the things that I can think about, like I have seen 
in my park, I have seen coyotes and I've seen mice. And so those are two things that, oh, and I've seen lizards. If I can spell lizards correctly, I wish there was two C's in lizards. That would be way cooler. These are things that I know live in my park because I've lived here for like four years and I've been to the park a lot. And one time going to the park is not enough to always see everything that lives there. Um, so if you have things you want to add because you've seen them in the past or you've seen their houses, like I've seen mice houses, feel free to add a few of those. Don't add too many because you don't want to be making stuff up. You really want to be basing this on evidence, but your past memory is okay to add in to your food web. Um, once you have added all of your things, um, I'm going to skip ahead and have all of my things added. Um, and I'll see you guys and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, now that I'm done placing everything on my um, page, and notice the one thing I split up, I saw I have big birds, which are like hawks and raptors, those things that eat mice and snakes and dive and eat other animals. And I have small birds. Those are things that eat insects, um, pick at seeds, eat grass, because those are like really kind of very different types of birds. So I decided to put both in. You can make a judgment call based on what you think is at your part. Now that I have all the things that live at my park, I'm going to connect them. So I go up to the top, I'm going to get an arrow, and I'm gonna think about what they all eat. So I know that my small bird will eat some of the seeds from my bushes. I know that my small bird will eat some of the seeds from my trees. And I know my small bird will eat some of the seeds from my flowers. Oh wait, I'm doing these backwards. You got to always make the arrow towards the thing it eats because the energy and the food is flowing to the small bird. I want to make it bigger. Okay, arrow from the tree to here, from the flower. Oh, kitty cat, you can't come in front of this video again. You can hang out. Well, I do my work, but you are not the star of the show. And I know my small bird eats bugs. Now I'm going to go on to something else. Let's think about my lizard. So I know my lizard, my lizard eats bugs. My lizard, I know some lizards eat flowers. Actually, I think my lizard only eats bugs. Okay, and um, I'm going to continue doing this to try to connect everything that eats other things.
now that I'm done making my food web, oh, sorry about that. Now that I'm done making my food web, I can make, I can answer some questions about it, whether I think that it, um, I have a better understanding of the ecosystem at my park. And this will allow me to make um, really good suggestions to Parks and Rec to allow them to make my park a healthy, healthier and more stable ecosystem. Um, good luck with your park. Remember to reach out for help from me or from Beacon or any other person um, to help you get this done. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Zuzu says bye too. Bye, Mr. Bruce Clash.